In this lesson, we're going to be investigating geometric series, and this is called Module 1. It's the first lesson of two having to do with geometric series. Uh, first thing is, a geometric series is related to a geometric, geometric sequence, except for it is the sum of the terms of a geometric sequence. Uh, so as an example, a geometric sequence would be 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, which would have a common ratio of 2. Uh, and a geometric series related to that sequence would be 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32. So one, one way that we may uh, represent this or talk about this is for the geometric series above, S6 equals 63 because 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32 is 63. In our other words, or in other words, the sum of the first six terms is 63 of that geometric series. Uh, the sum of the first n terms, so here's the formula, Sn of a geometric series is defined by two formulas. Uh, the sum of those terms would be uh, related to this formula here or this formula here. Uh, at different times, those formulas will be useful in different ways. Uh, it's important to ac actually know which one to use when, and in order to do that, you might want to investigate where they differ, and where they differ as far as um, things or values that you may need to find or have is in the first formula, we have n, which is the number of terms in that sequence or series, and in the second formula, we have tn, which is the actual value of that last term in the sequence or series. So that's where they differ as far as the important parts that you need to know. Uh, so you'll see where those are those are coming up in the next few examples. So we're going to look at a few examples here and how do we apply uh, geometric <clears throat> series to these formulas and how it works. Uh, the first question says determine the sum of the first nine terms of the geometric series negative one plus three minus nine plus etc etc etc. One way you could do this first of all let's investigate the common ratio uh, the common ratio would be any term divided by its previous term. So you could do 3 divided by negative 1 or negative 9 divided by 3. So any term divided by its previous term. Either way you do this, your common ratio is going to be negative 3. So one way that you could solve this is by actually just, in some cases, it's going to be useful to just list out the terms and add or subtract them. So this is negative 1, this is 3, negative 9, 27, negative 81, 243, negative 729, etc, etc. So this is one way. Uh, 2187 and negative 6561. So one way you could do this is just add up all those terms and you have your answer. However, in some cases what you're going to find is there's just too many terms to add up and you're more likely to make mistakes. So you may want to use a formula. Uh, <clears throat> The formula that I would use here, because we know where they differ, uh, they differ in either knowing the last term or knowing the number of terms. I would use the first formula because we don't technically know the last term unless we list them all out like I have here. Uh, so in this particular case, I'm just going to use the formula. We know that the sum of the first nine terms is equal to the value of the first term, which is negative 1, times in brackets the common ratio, which is negative 3, to the power of n, which is 9, and then minus 1, uh, all over the denominator of the common ratio, which is negative 3 minus 1. So as long as we know how to evaluate this, we should be fine. So this is going to be negative 1. That's going to be, let me show you on my calculator what the brackets is going to be. If I do negative 3, and make sure you do it in brackets, uh, negative 3 to the power of 9 is that. And if I subtract 1, there we go. So it's negative 19,684 uh, in the brackets. Okay, and that's all over negative 3 minus 1, which is negative 4. So in other words, the sum is going to be positive 19,684. Let's uh, divide it by negative 4. So your sum in this particular case, the sum of the first nine terms is 19,684 divided by negative 4. And that is negative 4,921. Okay. Uh, the next example says determine the sum of the geometric series 729 plus 243 plus 81 plus etc etc until you get 1 27th. Again, uh, where these differ is in the first formula you need to know the number of terms. In the second formula you need to know the value of the last term in the list. Uh, so in this particular case I would use the second formula because we do know the value of the last term in the list. That is 1 27th. Uh, let's also investigate what the common ratio would be. Uh, the common ratio in this particular case is any number divided by its previous term. So maybe I'll do 81 divided by 243. So in this particular case, if I reduce that, I will get one third, or I could divide it on my calculator. Oops. I 
could divide it on my calculator. <clears throat> and if I do 81 divided by 243, I get 0.33333, which is the same as one third. So you could use either value if you'd like to. Um, obviously, exact value would be the fraction. All right, so the sum of this particular series would be the ratio, which is one third times the last term, which is 1 27th, the list of numbers we're trying to find, minus the first term, which is 729, <clears throat> all over the common ratio, which again is 1 3rd uh, minus 1. So you could use fractions throughout this entire thing if you'd like to. Uh, the sum is 1 3rd times 1 27th, which is 1 over 81 minus 729, all over 1 3rd minus 1, and 1 3rd minus 1 is negative 2 thirds. Okay, because it's one third minus three thirds, that's negative two thirds. So if we go ahead and complete this, maybe I'll start moving this into decimal form. Uh, you can use whatever method you choose. So one over 81 uh, minus 729, that equals, and then if we divide that by negative two thirds, so divided by uh, negative two thirds, we get a solution of 1093.481481. So there's the sum. Uh, and you could solve this in fractions and get an exact value if you would like. All right, uh, let's look at one more example. This question says the common ratio of a geometric series is negative 5 halves, and the sum of the first five terms is 451. Determine the first term. Uh, so the first thing that we'll look at is just understanding this problem, period. And what that would look like is the sum of the first five terms. So if I add five terms, what I get is that the solution is 451. What I also know is that the common ratio is negative 5 halves, uh, which is the same as negative 2.5. So I would multiply uh, by negative 2.5 to get the next term in each term of this geometric series. Um, <clears throat> now, what you may want to investigate or, or understand is that guess and check or, or just trying to figure this out in your head isn't going to be very easy. Uh, so you may want to use a formula. In this particular case, again, the difference between these two formulas is the value of the last term or the number of terms. In this particular case, we know the number of terms. We know that it's five. So if we investigate uh, this particular problem using that formula, uh, Sn is 451. That's the sum of the series. is equivalent to term one, which we don't know, times, and the ratio in this particular case we know is negative 2.5, to the power of n, which is five terms minus one, uh, all over the ratio, which is negative 2.5 minus one. So if I go ahead and start solving this or uh, simplifying some of these problems, we have 451 is equivalent to term one, and I'll pull up my calculator here, <clears throat> start calculating some things. Uh, if we do negative 2.5, oops, I should use brackets here, uh, negative 2.5, to the power of 5 and subtract 1. That's what I get for that. And if I divide that by negative 3.5, because this is negative uh, 98.65625, 0.65625, and that's all over negative 3.5, I'm almost done. In fact, if I want to solve this algebraically, I could times both sides by negative 3.5, uh, <clears throat> and what I'd have is that negative 1,578.5 is equivalent to term 1 times negative 98.65625. Uh, so in this particular case, when I divide by the negative 98 point, etc., cetera, uh, I'm going to get my answer for what term 1 is. Okay, So if I do that number, uh, divided by negative 98.65625 end up getting term 1 of 16. Uh, so term 1 is equivalent to 16. <clears throat> okay, and you could check that if you'd like to. You can multiply every term by negative 2.5 and see if it adds up uh, to that particular uh, value. So if I do 16 times negative 2.5, my next term would be negative 40. Uh, my next term after that would be 100. My next term after that would be negative 250. And my next term after that would be 
625. So if you add up all those terms, you should get 451.